Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Today in front of me I have the Corsair's first ever take on an SFX power supply, their brand new SF series, the SF450 model in particular. As the model name suggests, this is a 450 watt 80 plus gold efficiency power supply and beside it you can also choose a stronger 600 watt one, which can easily power up any high-end machine, even a multi-GPU one. Right above that power output you can also see that Corsair gives a very long 7 year warranty on this model. Beside that, in the middle of it all, we have a nice big picture of the power supply itself and on the bottom a few key points listed out for this particular model. Top side of the box hides a list and pictures of the included cable, their number and length. While going to the back side of the box, you'll come across onto a multilingual overview of the features, some additional pictures and measurements for the power supply, technical specifications and efficiency and fan noise curves. Opening up the box, here we have a user manual and warranty guide. A small bag with Corsair's badge, zip ties and screws. AC power cable, separate cloth bag with all the modular cables, and here's the power supply itself. As you can see, the SFX form factor power supplies are really small, which is actually their main advantage over the regular ATX ones, especially when it comes to installing them into an ITX chassis. It's not that bigger than my palm, and yet it brings all the bells and whistles of the big boys. The top part of the SF450 is reserved for the 92mm fan, which has a silent operation mode, in which the fan stays completely off when the power supply is in idle, which is roughly under the 20% load mark. On top of that, this model also stays very quiet even under full load. Opposite of that you won't find your usual power and current declaration sticker, but rather a Corsair's logo surrounded by an interesting surface pattern. The aforementioned declaration sticker is actually put on the side of the power supply, opposite of the power supply's model sticker, but don't be put off by that or scared it may look ugly, as all of the ITX chassis have a completely different layout for power supplies, so that side sticker isn't on display like for example in a standard ATX chassis. Backside of the power supply reveals the usual Hanukkah mesh, dedicated on and off button, AC power plug and a cool little detail in the form of a model plate. Opposite of that, on the other side you will find a completely modular set of connectors for the cables, all nicely laid out and marked, so you don't have any problem setting everything up. Speaking of the cables, as you can see they are all completely covered in this black individual rubber sleeving, giving them a fully uniformed look, which I personally like. They are all much shorter, but they need to be since they will be put into a small ITX chassis, where any access cable isn't a desirable thing. Last but not the least, another upside comes from the fact that you'll get separate 6 plus 2 PNPC Express power cables, so you don't need to leave the other one hanging in case your graphics card only uses one power connection. That's it guys for this time, thank you once again for checking out the unboxing and preview of the Corsair's SF450 SFX power supply. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to the Tactic YouTube channel or you can just check out some of the other videos from before.